Hi there. Uh, my name is Jay with Server Matter, and the purpose of this video is to demonstrate to myself what the green screen environment should look like. Um, this is about as good as it gets. I am wearing a green shirt, and it looks green in the video. It looks like the same color, so I assume it's the same color on my face. But it did require some tweaks within the ATEM environment, within the lighting around me, uh, to get it there. And let me start with this. The first thing that you need to do is concentrate on the screen back there. Forget about yourself. To that end, you would turn your own light off like that, and then ignore the fact that there's an image there at all. Then bring in your ATEM software. And on the right-hand side, all of these things are going to end up mattering. The sampling, when I turn, I, I have to turn off my key in order to turn on sampling. But you turn on the sample, you do the preview. And the preview won't show up on this video capture, so, that, so I'm not going to bother doing it. Um, the chroma sample, you want to get a sample of the green. You know, start in the lower left corner. That's where I think I was the, uh, when I did this. And then, again, we're going to ignore me. We're only looking at the background. We're going to put up a bright white background, something that Notepad would provide you, okay? You shouldn't see any green there. You shouldn't see any splotches of green there. At the beginning of this thing, I did. You can see it right there. It's a bluish green, a few spots. And then I adjusted and adjust. It might have been the key edge. You know, th that is, in fact, where I started off. Um, so you just want to concentrate by making these kinds of adjustments that you see here uh, one line at a time until you get where you want to be. And every little one made a difference. I was very surprised that, in fact, I'm going to do it on the right-hand side. The, if I, all, they're all to the left right now, foreground, background, key edge, and spill. Okay, that's where I started off. To get rid of the lion's share, that's key edge, okay? I'm going now to 50% key edge. I'm going to put it back to zero. 50% background does nothing. 50% foreground does less than nothing. So key edge is where you start. You bring that out until everything goes away. And you don't really know that it's gone away until you press, until you minimize yourself. And now you see that blue square in the background, that greenish blue square? That you didn't see when I was full screen. So, and that gets you. It ends up causing you brain damage after you sh you're doing a video shoot. So I'm going to increase the key edge. And it pulls, pulls I'm up to 70, 80% now, but it's still not all the way, it's still not gone, even at that high a number. So now I'm going to introduce some foreground. Oh, no good. I'm going to introduce some background. Oh, that does it, doesn't it? So now a little bit of background coupled with the key edge. In fact, balancing key edge, you see I'm getting a little bit back now. I'm at around the 50% mark on the key edge. And I'm going to increase the background again just a little bit so it's not 100% of any one of them. Now that would appear to look good. I haven't uh, chroma correction. Let me bring this over so you can see it. Uh, chroma correction, there we go, is still hard left on the spill and the flare uh, suppression, and that's where these three are. And again, only c um, concentrating on the background image. So now I'm going to bring myself uh, in front of a black, bring myself, I'm going to put myself in front of a black background, and that still looks okay, at least in a small size. Let's bring that up full screen. I saw a little movement there. Did you see that that top left corner? We got a little, um, we're get, getting some dances, okay? So I'm going to concentrate on this area right here in the top left corner and try to make that go away. We're going to start with spill. Did nothing. S flare suppression just changes colors. So we're still dealing with foreground, background, and key edge. That key edge definitely makes a difference. I just bumped it a little bit. Background uh, makes a difference as well. So I brought it up with background alone. 
Okay, and now I'm going to go back to the white. And just again, we're going to show you our numbers. Uh, there's foreground, background, key edge, and uh, spill and flare suppression are still at nothing at all. And we're going to ignore me. Forget my fuzz. Forget my stuff. I'm not, I'm not even paying attention to that. I'm only interested in what's behind me. Now, behind my head, I see a little green line right there on that output. So let's try and bring that out of there. We'll try foreground. Foreground, not doing it. Background, that's having an effect on it. Key edge, both of those have an effect on it. So now it looks like I've really got a clean background. We're going to go with the white background again just to make sure. Got lots of those up. Okay. Um, I don't see any green, any, any lines at all in the white in the background. I'm going to minimize myself. That looks really good. So white and black, we've accomplished the goal. Only now am I going to bring myself into the picture. So that's goal number one. Concentrate only on the back screen. You start going back and forth. You get yourself all screwed up and you get caught chasing your tail. So I'm going to turn on the front light, which I've left off on purpose. Oh, damn, am I really that good? Look, I know that that really uh, is, is pretty damn good right away. But I'm going to open up the ATEM software again. And now, is my shirt green? I guess it, it really is. Now, oh, the reason it's green is because earlier I had to tweak the red, green, and blue and a little bit of the brightness. If, if I put all of these at zero, why don't I do it the easy way? Zero, saturation, which is at 115 at zero. I don't even know how that's possible. Um, so, obviously, I've got something wrong here. Red, green, and blue. Uh, so, oh, saturation needs to be at 100. Okay, that's how that's possible. Okay. So, um, the shirt, you can detect that it's green, but not on the same level. So, I bump that up a little bit, I think, to make that more green. There we go. And now, now you can tell it's a green shirt. Um, but you've got to be watching out for your own self and your face uh, and the saturation. Puts a little more color in your face. It took away from the green, though. So I'm going to bump the green back up a little bit. Not sure how, what effect the blue has on it. Oh, moving to the left definitely makes that shirt pop. So a little less blue. I don't need to look any more blue than, than I do. Uh, and the red, there we, we, that's about right. So you just want to look at that thing and see how much red is too much, how much is too little. And so we end up with a little bit of a zigzag pattern. We end up with the green shirt that I should be wearing. Uh, I've got a dark green t-shirt that shows up as dark green. That's the program. Now, if we take a look at the lights, I will tell you I had the lights coming in closer to the screen, and that was a fail. Um, that was creating problems. So pulling the lights away, farther away from the screen, which spreads the light more evenly, definitely the way to go. Um, I should take a picture of that and uh, integrate it with the video. go and the other one is pretty much a mirror of that okay and that's it I think that's it yeah because this is great um, I've seen this in in Camtasia recorded it you know this you can play forever like if, if I put a black background let's do this when I'm big like this okay if I really take a look at my hands you know I've got a little bit of a green on the edges of the hands right and I just said I was satisfied but if I open up ATEM and I tweak, 
Let's start with the background. I'm going up on the background, I'm going down. So going down in the background makes it a little fatter. I'm looking at my hair too. That's bringing them, it's cropping it just a little bit on the background. Okay, foreground. So backing off the foreground reduces the green there too. Now too much, you might lose some of your alias uh, or Elias or whatever they call that to where it's, it's smoother rather than too rough. So we could tweak it just a little bit further there, but you notice the hair's got just a little bit of rough edge as a result of that last foreground move. Move, bump that foreground up ever so slightly, one, two percent, and you've got it back again. Now, I'm using, you know, solid black background on the hair, solid black, uh, uh, solid white background. That's not really the real world. The real world is you're going to be dealing with stuff like this, stuff like that, uh, and it's going to be broken up. And so you're going to get away with a lot more. Um, but again, start with the back. Get it perfect. Check it in white. Check it in black. And uh, check it small. Check it large. And then bring yourself online and continue to make the tweaks on yourself while still ensuring that the background is unaffected by whatever you're tweaking to improve yourself. And don't forget to resample that green screen if you feel like all these tweaks that you're making isn't having enough of effect. Your green screen may need to be sampled in a slightly different area, which can change your background. So you really want to do that at the beginning, but I'm just saying as a final thing, you may have to look at that and redo the whole thing with a new green screen sample. I hope this helps you, just as I'm sure it will help me down the road. Thanks for watching.